Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and I'm here playing Endocopia once again. Specifically, we're going in for a secret that's been discovered. It gives the original demo of this game a more horror, darker slant. And after I show how you get that secret and the secret itself, I will go over my personal theories about the game and where the story and kind of theme is kind of going. If you haven't seen the actual demo, there is a link to my playthrough of the whole thing down in the description, down in the end screen of the video, and it will be my pinned comment. All right, we're gonna go into here. Now, actually, in my cut footage, I was actually messing with these quite a bit. Forget they did have a purpose. And, um, Andyland did kind of hint that they had a purpose, too, on the Kickstarter page. Uh, because the Kickstarter page, um, I'll show you specifically where you get the hint for that these might be something more. It was this one. This scene is specifically listed in the Kickstarter as... There are secrets. So I'm like, oh, maybe that was a secret, because I wasn't able to get these to work. But no, I'm just, I'm doing something wrong here. Underground. Secret. I can't see anything. I'm feeling cold. Sure you are. I don't want to mess with teeth. What's going on there on the left? I'm trying to talk when nothing comes out. Nothing there. I think there's a hand over here. See it? Human hand. A book. Whoa, whoa, I don't like teeth. <laughs> that looks like some kind of curse AI image. I'm feeling cold. Stop doing that! It's so, as soon as you walk near it, that triggers. Okay. Yeah, that's what feet. So maybe we get something to trigger with this comb here? Maybe we gotta go in a certain spot? It feels like something should trigger here. I did for the other ones. Let's go back to the top left. Walk over the hand, nothing triggers there. Trying to get something to trigger in the book. Walk all over it. No. All right, we'll check this out. Turn enough, it comes out. I can't see anything. There's definitely something more down here. A candle. It's on my head. There's something warm in my head. Oh, we got some- it's, the spot's right over here. Over this, um, kind of shadow shape. Which is basically a face. 
So you probably just need to see all these little things and this door will open over here. Yo, know, just gotta stand near it. Okay, no, stand near with the candle. So the candle did have a purpose. I assume we have just to linger here. Whoa. Okay, I am. I'm trying to find where I am on the screen because I can't see myself. I can't even change my uh, thing in the mouse. Oh, here we are. We're just like slowly walking up. Are you the one in that song? Can I click anything? I can click a jump scare. I don't think she likes this. Okay, they're a little more relaxed. <laughs> oh, game crashed. So I think it did. Yep. Okay, so you come back into the game. It looks like it does not acknowledge you going there. Of course, because you uh, can't save in that area. But it didn't, like, change anything here, I believe. Yeah. I will go back in here just in case. Bride. Where's your partner now? Enter. See, that's the the hint of why you saw that puzzle. Do you live behind the walls? Behind the walls is relative. This place shifts every now and then like an organism. Maybe you're now, but it could be above the ceiling and below the floor later on. That's where we went. You're very kooky, aren't we all? Those are the big uh, ones that you really need to talk to. So I believe that is that. That's the last of like the secrets, because you you can poke around the uh, the files a bit, and. Um, you, you do see the secret listed down in there. It's not listed as a secret, obviously. It's just listed as the um, the room. And when, we, when the game crashed, it listed that room file. I'm not sure if that's a... I don't think it's a real file. It's like a fake out. But it said like that was that led to the error, and it gives you a binary code, which translates to, Oh Lord, we love how you suffer. And the uh, I'm assuming the bride figure there is kind of in a... You know... Uh, Kind of a pose that you would maybe see, like, something like religion, like, and suffering and everything, to put it lightly. But I don't think the bride would be the Lord, and I feel like that's kind of a random thing. So my guess would be is that our main character does suffer. They do, like, go for, like, suffering. They do actually die, and these... It's done cutesy. There's no blood. But they are dying horribly every time we lose. And we do know the one lizard thing kind of bullies them. So maybe Mallow is the Lord because they're the protag. They're kind of the core of this world in game. So when I made that comparison to Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, it looks like it was a little more accurate than I thought as far as even breaking the bounds of the game world and everything, if you know what I mean. And for anyone who thought that, oh, this is not going to be a horror game. Because I actually did also see some comments saying, like, this is not a horror game, this is a cutesy game. And I, I kind of said, you know, my original post commentary, well, let's see, you know, there's cards are being held close right now. I mean, the doubts on that are gone. There's very realistic photos and weird things going on in that world. What does it all mean? We have no idea. I don't even know if, I mean, for all we know, it's just Andy Land thought they needed some horror secret stinger and just kind of put something together cool. And they even maybe even they haven't fully uh, figured out the plot yet. <laughs> We're kind of early in this development cycle. You know, and things can change. 
But the main links, if you had to speculate at all, is that this is emulating a kind of like 90s PC adventure game designed for kids. Our character does die quite often, but you did in a lot of those games too. There is a somewhat of a meta world. I'm not talking about the meta element that we'll get into that. But in the sense of like the thing that comes out of the toilet, the lights talking to you, the the doctor character, things like that. There, there seems to be like characters who are kind of more acknowledging that this world's not quite right. Um, the other factor we have is Mallow seems to lose her memory every time. And it's implied they've been playing and doing this whole thing for many times over. And we know there is an actual meta element. I don't know to what extent it's there, but the fact that you got like an error pop up and crash in the game shows, oh, there's a computer element. And, you know, there's a computer in this stage that you can kind of toy around with, but not fully yet. Now, the other thing about the meta element is the... Our player character likes to stare at the screen, like stare in your soul sometimes when you do things. And this is not just in the cutscenes. They're capable of staring directly at the screen if you're controlling them. You just make them aim at the screen. It's like dead on looking at your soul. And even the icon for the demo and the configuration, like the little, you know, the file, is that picture of Mallow staring directly at you. So that's a little curious, and I'm curious how that's going to play out. So what factor can you put together on this? Maybe based on like some of the photos we saw in the underground world? Maybe this is someone's computer game. I didn't mean they make it. I mean that maybe they died and they possessed their own copy of their 90s kids adventure game. And they've been isekai and now they're Mallow or whatever our character is. Uh, now, going back to the file thing, like I said, if you poke around the files, there's no additional like hidden dialogue we went through all of them in my main playthrough. In fact, the secret doesn't show up in the dialogue area because there is no dialogue down there. It only shows up in a special area in the files that describes the room, which is the one that throws up the air, describes some sound files we're supposed to play, and it describes the thing you encounter at the end, which is just listed as creature. So that's all we can really put together. People can do all sorts of wild speculation. I don't think you're going to really get Aside from what we can kind of visually see and touch, there's not too much you can really go on. Anything outside of that, it's just, it's just wild speculation that Annie Lynn can even adjust by the time this game comes out, based on what people theorize. To kind of throw them off the, uh, the chase, per se. But, on another note, the Annie Lynn's Kickstarter did go through, so this is going to be a full game. And I believe they have some stretch goals. If you're watching this video, I, I can't tell you like if the Kickstarter is still running because, you know, whatever. I don't know when you're watching this video. It could be today. It could be days down there. But like I said, they did have stretch goals, so it's still running. Check it out. If you like supporting, go for it. I never officially endorse Kickstarters, but if you yourself like what you see in these videos of this game, you know, feel free to make your own decision on that. And if you have not seen the actual play for this adventure game, maybe you just click down to this video for the hell of it. Then stay tuned for the end screen, or just go down in the comments or description or whatever, and there'll be a link to that actual video. But yeah, anyway, so if we go for what you get, the secret in Endocopia. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.